Welcome everyone, I'm John and this is the crypto channel of John. Now I'm going to show you all um, something I've been working on for two days and it's like done in like 10 minutes. The high chain node and how to install it on your own PC. Now I'm not delegating it to anybody, I'm not lending it out, I just have one so I want to be using it and running it on my own computer. It's very easy to do so I'll guide you step by step how I've done it. I must give a beautiful shout out to this one person that has helped me and that is Blazin420 on Discord. This dude is amazing. He knows perfectly everything about computers I think and how to enter codes. For me I am like um, not the smartest guy yet on um, adding notes and how to add it onto it but I've learned from him and I must much appreciate it. I will show you everything I learned and follow my steps if you want to run a node on Windows on your own computer without using anything else. It's simple, it's easy and let's go into it. I wrote down step by step what to do. The first thing we need to do is install from GitHub, of course the release thing, so I'll copy this and place it in my internet bulk. First we need to do is download this node software. I am Windows, so I'll be downloading this zip file. You just have to click it and it will be automatically getting downloaded. After it's downloaded, we have to open it of course. So in download, I can see it here, it's already been downloaded and you just open it by pressing it twice then you will get this file. After getting this file I want you to make a new folder on your desktop. So I have made mine you just take these two items and drag them in a new folder that you have made. Drag and drop anybody can do this so just drop it in there. After that you can open it and see that these two things are in here. If they are in there, perfectly good work, I must say. You can close this folder again. We will not be needing it at this point. We wrapped it out. We made a folder. Now afterwards, we need to set up a new MetaMask. Because we are gonna share private keys, we don't want to share our private keys with a notice on, so we're making a new MetaMask so that we can subtract the private keys and adding that one to it. So the first thing, how do we add a new MetaMask account? We press on MetaMask, we go to accounts, and then add a new hardware wallet or account. Add a new account, and then you press here, um, note, or high chain note it's like you want to add to it so that you remember that's that one and then press create if you have done that you can see I got one here just to show you guys everything if you have done this one we need to subtract now the private key of it how do we do this very easy we press again on the name note with the mark here we get this open here and then we press the three bell dots on the right side. By pressing it you go to account, um, he heavens, uh, this is on Flemish, so um, account info, I think this will be in English. You press it and this is what you will get. After that one you press private, show private keys. If you press that one you will have to enter your password. After pressing that password you will get the private keys. Please do not share that with anybody except for this uh, thing that we are going to use it for. So save it somewhere that you can, we will be needing it later. So save it on a file that we can add it to it. After that part, we do need some tokens now. So we need some Topia tokens to be able to use this wallet and the one that we are, the, and the one that has already some Topia on it. So let me take a look. I got some Topias here. I got about six, 79 Topias. Uh, 
97 Topias. And I sent some to my other wallet, around 50 Topias, to be sure that we have enough. I think around 50 to 100 Topias is enough for everything. So just add some Topias to both of those wallets. To be sure, make it a 100 or a 50, that's okay. Add to both of them. And if you have done this perfectly, we go to the next step. The next step after adding private keys, we saved it, we added Topia to the wallet. Now we're gonna delegate the wallet to the other one. Now we need this cont contract address. That contract address will be beneath the text so you can just copy and paste it so that it's completely perfectly in line. If you don't if you want to trust me perfectly, if you don't, go to the Discord and you will find just the same one. So first of all, you will get into this tab bar. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we are on the high chain chain, so that we are on the correct chain. If you are not, make sure that you are. Then we can um, connect our MetaMask to this. After we have done this, we will start to delegate. You have to press tab to start using delegate. Just tap here with your my left mouse, you press it and you will get this open up. Afterwards, use delegate a wallet, contract or asset. Press it again. Then we have to change from wallet to contract. And here we will enter the wallet that we just created. We made just a new wallet. We need to enter that address there. Not the private key, the normal key. So the real key, uh, the, the public key of your high chain node. So I'll be copying in this one and then entering it in here. The down part is the one that is in the comments below. I think I'm going to do something extra in here. Yeah, you can see I just, this wallet is identical to the connected wallet. So we need to change again from the wallet because I wanted to take my pri make sure that you're on the wallet again where your node key is added. If you have done this correctly, those two should be entered. The first one is your address that you added, the new one from your new MetaMask you made, and the second one is the contract address. That means that you will be delegating your node key to the other MetaMask wallet. That does not mean that anybody can touch it. It's still on the private one that you have, but you're just not sharing anything from information. You just submit and that's it. Then it will be done. I will be not doing this because I already have done this. This will be a price of 0 0.6 Utopia. So I have at least a few Utopias, Utopias in here that we can do this. If you have done this correctly and you go to profile, you should see one that you, your MetaMask wallet is high chain code node has been delegated. Normally you should only have one thing here. I have three because I have tried some other things out and was uh, not 100% correct the first time. So after that one, you can close delegate. We will not be needing that anymore. So now we delegate it. The next step that we need to do is open a terminal. If you do not know what a terminal is like I did, <laughs> you need this file so opdracht prompt you can uh, normally find this with um, windows c i guess you will open it too or you can just press in cmd in here and this will pop up you have to press it and then you will get this file now the first thing we need to do is of course we want to give it a command what it needs to do because here we need to type everything before we know what it does the command that we need to type is drag your 
folder that you could just create it with your node and high chi just in here and you will get the thing that you need to drag we need to do two things before we press enter we need to get rid of the exclamask so here and add cd in front of it then press enter if you have done this correctly you should get the same username gbl desktop node chain that means that we are in this folder and that we can now use the folder in the background if you have done that correctly the next thing we need to do is good that I written this down because I would never remember this out of my head is adding this one Control V so you would be adding exactly this text no space bars but just where your private key stands here you need to enter that private key of the new wallet we created I've shown you in a private step how to subtract that private key you need to enter it here if you have entered it here perfectly then press enter and your node should be up and running already you will be getting something like this some texts you will get and then you will see that it will be in sleep phase again every hour this will restart and it will do this every hour once an hour constantly continuously going through so this is how you set up your own high chain node on your own desktop so it's very easy to do it took me about two days to find out how to do this so i hope you guys find this very easy uh, like i do now and uh, hope you guys learned something